Hi guys, today we are going to study the plants, flowering and non-flowering plants. And uh, I wanted to come here to the countryside to highlight how if you look around you, if you pay attention around you, in a few meters you can discover a huge biodiversity. So let's join me and I'm going to show you in the only a few meters the amount of different plants that you can find. Let's start. First of all, I'm going to show you the little space I'm talking about. Okay. So here we are. Let's start with the non-flowering plants. And we have our first species, which is a Firm. And here we can see more non-flowering plants such as lichens and mosses. Have you ever thought about the amazing biodiversity that you can find in a bark? Let's have a look. So we have here one, two, Two different things. One is a lichen and the other one is a moss. See now the flowering plants. And here we are, a pine. But have you ever seen a flower from a pine? Maybe you have seen it, but you haven't realized that it was a flower, but for sure. What you have seen is a pine cone. As you might know, among the flowering plants, we have the gymnosper and the angiosper. And here we are. Is this a flower? Yes, it is. It is a spring, but it's still a flower. And what about this? Well, it's not the best time to see it, but you might know that this is a lavender. And again, can you have a look? Is it a flower? Or... Uh, is it a bunch of flowers, which is called inflorescence? And here we are, another interesting example. Well, at the summer, it is in poor conditions. But what do you think it is? 